mission. This is my frustration with AIDS. We have an abundance of that resource and yet it's still untapped. There's only one, maybe two, <clears throat> that we uh, we right now depending on, which is coal is one of them. You'll see it how we use it. And uh, what we like to do is, uh, most likely the uh, Simons around here a while ago, uh, we will probably, I just told him that he's going to be directed from me with the Washington office and the lawyers up there to form a group to start utilizing uh, our, our uh, uh, this reform that we're talking about. It has to happen. If we don't do that, uh, a while ago it was said we cater to Washington, we'll never make it. We'll never make it mainly because we don't have the resource to make it. It takes money to run a government. It takes $14 million to run a nomination every, every month. Take it back. Every day. $14 million a day to run a nation, and we ain't going to make it. Uh, we will be out in the street. We know uh, we can yell all we want in Washington. We've done that so many times, and, and nothing has, very little ever came out of it. We can talk about treaty rights, but ever come out of it, very little. They each one of you know. It's like talking to a rock in the hill. Uh, politics is politics, and uh, there we are. Let's talk about a Navajo Nation resource. And, uh, I'll show you another slide, and these are coming from our partners, it's the Deal Laboratory, Lawrence Livermore, that we have an MOU, Memorandum of Understanding, and our own young man by the name of Sam Wood. Uh, he's been working very hard. He's a young man, to be honest with you, he's not old. He's probably in his 30s, but he's been working with different company, and he came to my midst. They started working for me, uh, just a young man, and I, Look at him, he's done a lot of great work, and look what's happening. As you can see, these are the resources we have. We have solar, nuclear, hydro, wind, geothermology, is that what it is? Gas, coal, uh, biomass, and oil. And you see these lines that come off that. What is the widest line you see, the wide road? The white line is the coal. We use that a lot. We use that to burn coal. And look at the other one. The next one we use is the oil. It was a white road coming out for transportation. We started to use that more. We're going to probably widen that soon, as wide as that coal. We start utilizing that. And all of these commercial, refinery, commercial, Biomass. We've got trash come out of the fire years. We don't use it. There is no road. No line. It's untapped. As you go up, you see gas. Natural gas. We have natural gas that runs through our reservation, El Paso gas. We don't utilize it. We don't tap into it. It just runs right through our reservation. Our right away is all we grant. Very little we use. Next one, geo, geo, thermal. We don't even use that. And then the other one's wind. Where uh, politicians are all full of wind. Some of us are, but that's all we do. We don't produce anything. It's that headaches from people that listen to us. The other one's hydro. Very little is used. Nuclear, uranium, we don't allow that. Mainly because uh, you heard, earlier in your talk, you heard about Navajo surface right leasing. Like cleanup. It's not happening. There's about over a thousand open pits out there. Only one we're trying to do it. And that's another one. Case in point. Church rock cleanup. It's a seven year project that's going to be a cleanup. It's being funded by Superfund. The General Electric is, uh, is going to be the contractor. We've been trying to get a permit to get that started for the last two, three years. I even got involved when I was vice president in that church truck. And yet we're still at it. We're still getting the runaround. We're now at the Nuclear Regulatory Commission. 
We tell them that all the environmental clearance that was done in the past, just pick it up. Don't try to reinvent the wheel. It's going to take another 20 years to get that through. And so we don't have time for that. There's a lot of uh, contamination. People are getting infected. Cancer's on the rise and everything. We need to clean it up. We're still talking about that. So as long as we have a mandate, no mining, that's the nation's position. There is no mining. But I tell you what, we also got 19 Navajos that are right now certified to, uh, to, uh, to educate themselves on radiation. So anyway, now you see that. Now we will show you another film at that in the northern section of the reservation. These are real quick. As you can see, the, these are the areas, the red line, McKinley County is here, San Juan Basin is there. All of your right now, all the San Juan oil drilling this way. There's thousands. They've even gone to on a reservation, but they're doing straw welding, stealing off now. There's a mountain of oil supply in this area that will probably outdo North Dakota. With North Dakota's all rush right now, Tex Hall bragging about, we cannot do anything about it. We got Northern, uh, we got Alaska Natives that's going to be doing the drilling. And they're here, oil and gas is here, with the net so see. We can get into that and get that oil and oil. Maybe we start seeing some of our gas price going down for gallon. We won't be depending on foreign nation for oil. And we have natural gas, abundant of natural gas, a lot. All of these things I showed you, they're in there. And there's some more this way. In the eastern section, there's another discovery from the satellite, abundant of coal. We're talking about exporting coal. We're talking about gasification, clean coal, coal to oil. All of this is out there. Who would do it? Navajo. We have a Chevron mine that used to be a mine close to uh, Arizona border. They know a lot of our Navajos are unemployed. They're miners. Whatever work, they know what to do. They don't need no outsider to tell them how to mine. It's there. We can create jobs. So with all of these two areas that I've shown you, it's there. We have them. This is why I'm so frustrated. We need to do something with terror. We need to move on this, and we need to organize and make it happen. Let's do it. And uh, like I say, if you don't do it, now who's going to go forward? I'm going to do it. I'm going to make it happen, put a group together. I'm hoping that some of you will be in that group to go after, the, uh, after that amendment that we need to do. Thank you.